pleased to introduce you to the world's leading expert in retail operation, Professor Anath Rahman from Harvard Business School. Today, Professor Rahman is going to share with you his insights as to why people in training is so important for retail. Professor Rahman. Absolutely, Kerry. So uh, let's just start with the, with the basics over here. So people are a huge asset in any retail organization, in any organization for that matter. But when it comes to retail, labor is also a very significant line item in expenses, or a very significant, in fact, might be the single biggest controllable expense that a retailer has. So take those together, so it's a very important cost item, it's a huge asset, so people need to be managed very, very carefully. Yeah, definitely. Let me take a couple of areas where I think people can be a huge asset, and if they're not managed correctly, they won't be an asset. One of the things that we can that we can touch upon is the need for empathy. Now, most retailers understand that empathy for the customers for customers is really important, and that this is not important. This is not simply important when you're designing the concept of the store, but in the design in the design of every detailed interaction as well as the execution of these tasks. How does the customer feel when she or he is shopping in the store, when they're checking out, when they're interacting with a customer, when they're seeing other customers, when they're interacting, engaging with employees? In all these detailed tasks, empathy is really, really important. Now, one of the things that we've learned over time, and uh, people uh, in, in every service organization, is that if you want to show, if you want to demonstrate empathy for the customers, you need to have empathy for your own people. Mm -hmm. Now, so the role for any leader, for, the, for leadership in any organization, and something for retailers to, to pay attention to, is you as a leader invest in your employees' experience. You show, you invest in empathy for the employees they in, in turn take care of your customers and ultimately the customers will take care of your sales growth and your profitability. That's and excellent. This is, this is the concept mm. of the service profit chain. Now it's a simple concept. Every retailer leader, every service organization leader I talk to says absolutely it is true but it is hard to live this. Uh, but if you can live it then you create a great organization where employees have a great experience, customers have a great experience, and your organization is sustainable and profitable. Now another aspect about why people are so important is because people play a crucial aspect, crucial role in improving your operations over time. So before we get into the details over here, let me touch on two fundamental aspects of retail um, that we need to, to keep in mind. One, it's a cliche, it gets repeated all the time, but retail is detail. And over and over again, we've seen um, multiple retailers who come up with similar formats, similar concepts, but one executes the details better. The one that executes the details better is profitable over the long term, is successful over the long term. The one that doesn't execute the details just mm. simply doesn't survive. The other concept is something that a very wise entrepreneur once said, and he said, out of chaos comes revenue, out of discipline comes profit. And when you look at the life cycle of many of these organizations, the life cycle probably of many retail concepts that have been launched in China in the last few years, you go through a phase of chaos, uh, a phase where you are, your primary goal is revenue growth and then the growth starts tapering off, and then what you need to work on is on, on discipline, so you are using your assets more productively. Mm, absolutely. Your resources more productively. Mm. Now, people can enable you to transition from chaos to, to, to discipline, but it needs emphasis on at least two aspects. One, it needs training. The second, it needs structure. And it's uh, as, a, as a student of the history of how retailing has transitioned in various parts of the world, I've been fascinated by how uh, labor productivity 
has evolved in U.S. retailing over the last 30 years. And I've looked at these data myself, and sales per labor hour after controlling for inflation has grown at 3% a year for the last 30 years at a very steady rate. Every year? Every year. Wow. And when you ask, when I ask retailers, and I study retailers, you know, uh, when I ask retailers what explains this phenomenon, they cannot point to a single silver bullet. There's mm. a whole bunch of little things they did. All the details. Uh, all the details from the way they laid out the store, from the way they packaged products, from the way they designed checkout, you know, uh, every little thing added up. But retailers have to ask themselves, have I delivered the 3% productivity growth every year, um, year after year? So, you know, one of the things that uh, uh, somebody asked me the other day is in a, you know, we, we live in a, in a state of change. Retailers are, uh, and particularly now, but always true, retailers constantly changing. Right now it's changing at a dramatic pace. So this uh, person asked me, so what is not going to change? What will remain unchanged in retailing? And I think there are two things that will remain unchanged. One is empathy for the customer, and the second is respect for our people. And I'd just like to go back to something Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, said uh, in one of his writings. And I actually don't, can't find that writing anymore, but it was something I read many years ago. And he said his mission in life was to enable ordinary people to do extraordinary work. So the reason any organization exists in large part, Kerry, I believe, is to enable regular ordinary people to do extraordinary work. And this is not just true of retailers, it's true of Harvard Business School, it's true of the US Marines, it's true of PricewaterhouseCoopers. We're all regular ordinary people, but we want to come into work mm. wanting to do extraordinary things. And retailers, in thinking about how they handle their people, might want to think about this goal that Sam Walton set for all of us. Thank you very much, Professor Raman. It's really insightful. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Kerry. Yes.